What's up boys and girls, Brennan Myers here, and today we're gonna to be discussing weightlifting or bodyweight training. Which is better, which should you do, and which do most prefer? Now, first of all, we have to understand one thing, and that is resistance is resistance. Whether we are only using our body weights or using a weight, whatever it may be, there's a lot of things that we can do to use that resistance in different ways so that we can see the results we're looking for. So, for instance, we can decrease leverage for bodyweight training. We can change hand placement to make it a little bit harder. Uh, we can go supinated or pronated grips as far as hand placement goes. Um, we can go arms extended or completely flexed, whatever it may be. We could also change the alignment of our spine uh, or as many individuals know, you can stack in a handstand for handstand push-ups for bodyweight training and stuff like that. So alignment has a lot to do with it as well. Let's start off first with bodyweight training and the benefits of that. So as you know, you can work out anytime, anywhere with bodyweight training, especially if you really understand the structure of specific exercises and how it helps you. Um, you can be challenged at every fitness level, every fitness level. Many beginners think, okay, this is what I'm gonna do because you know it's it's very easy to do and I can get into like say push-ups, pull-ups, crunches, things like that. But no, you could also do it as an extreme advanced individual. A bodybuilder can do all body weight training. It just has to do with specific exercises and structured programming. You can also learn awesome tricks that keep it fun all the time. You know you never want to be doing the same thing day in and day out. This is great because you really get to do and experience new types of tricks that you never really put your body through. You get to defy gravity, which is awesome. Also, body weight movements increase core strength a lot, crazy amounts. Because of all the isometric movements um, and then all the explosive movements and then you know, catching yourself in specific positions, you're really trying to isolate, I mean isometrically contract that core in all positions, front lever, back lever, plunge. There's so many different areas of strength that it works that you know it's great for your core. Also, it's great for aesthetics. So if you really want to shred down, bodyweight training is great. You look at gymnast physiques, um, they, they do a great job and they do only bodyweight training and they're completely shredded. Okay, and then now we have compound movements. They're very common within all bodyweight training. Compound movements, say a pull up, a compound movement, if you don't know already, it's when multi joints are, are, are working in the specific exercise. So, as you could, you could imagine, bodyweight training, you really have to do a lot of compound movements, which is beneficial to your training and your results. Okay, so now we've covered that. Let's hit the weight training benefits. What are they? You know, well, obviously you can isolate exercises. You see bodybuilders in the gym, they really can isolate each specific muscle in their body to really build size, shred it down, or increase muscular endurance, or even increase strength and power. Um, you can work only your biceps, your triceps, your deltoids, your quads, your hamstrings, etc. So, so you understand that you could really isolate each muscle individually. You can also gain muscle very easily. You know, different studies prove that certain ways of training work. I, I mean, there's a lot more research in weight training than there is with body weight training. And you know, you can do supersets, they work great. Drop sets, you have time under tension. There's many different types of training that can really, you could benefit from with weight training. Also, it's easy to measure progress. You know, how much weight are you doing within that specific exercise one week compared to four or five weeks down the road. You can also see a big difference within your body because you're using a heavier resistance. And you know, as I said, you know, weight training, it's very easy. It's very, you know, you just have to go to the gym and get a workout in, you know? So, and then uh, can you really build the strength of your lower back? Yes, you can. You can also build that. Um, you can also engage in the most power building exercises such as Olympic lifts. And you know, the snatch and the power clean, the most powerful exercises within any type of weight training. So that's one of the great benefits of that. So now let's hit body weight training disadvantages. So as you know, it's very hard to isolate specific muscles within this type of training. As you know, if you're trying to isolate your upper pec, which I just made a video a couple days about, then you're also gonna be hitting your anterior delts, your traps, your rhomboids, and things like that. It's very, very hard, also your triceps. And then also, you know, if you're trying to, say, target only your biceps, you're doing bicep headbangers. Well, now you're also working your lats, you're also working your rhomboids and your back muscles. So that's the only thing, it's very hard to isolate specific muscles, but that's not too much of a bad thing 
only if you're trying to be uh, more competitive with bodybuilding or, or things like that and using a resistance, more heavy resistance to really build a lot of size, okay? So then also, you know, another disadvantage is that you need to increase volume a lot more for certain muscle groups to see the most results possible. And as you know, because we don't have as much of a resistance and we're changing leverages and we're trying to make the exercises a little bit harder, you know, we need to increase that volume to really see any type of uh, main size gains or even to get more shredded or increase you know muscular endurance because we're so used to our own body weight it's also so much harder to start i want to say it's so much harder than weight training but for most it is because they don't really understand you know how to structure programs with only body weight training how to hit every single muscle in the body um, there's no muscle there's no specific machines telling you what muscle is being worked that's also a big thing uh, there's so much variation to see a difference and, and that's one of the main things then also you need to understand increasing leverage leverages and you know tricks take a lot of practice and time to master so there's a lot of things that go into it uh, to really get going and see the best results possible but that's why I'm here and this is why this channel is here okay and then also we have weight training disadvantages so obviously you need equipment you need uh, whether it is a gym membership or a personal trainer you need money to work out and that's the thing that sucks about it uh, most weight training won't prepare you for body weight movements. And that's one of the main things that I engage in whenever I go to the gym. I really want to focus on, you know, specific weight training movements that will help with body weight trainings. And it, it is extremely difficult to figure that out. Um, you know, you need to you need to know a lot. You need to build a lot of knowledge of body weight movements to work towards strengthening them within the gym. Um, and then also you don't need to learn too much to work out with weights. You don't need to learn too much. You can just watch a quick video and do the the workouts easily in the gym. You know a bicep curl, you already know uh, anterior front raise, you know, you already know these types of things to work different muscles. So it's not really too difficult. So now we have the advantages and disadvantages of both weightlifting and body weight training. So now we really have to understand these advantages and disadvantages and then make a decision for ourselves. But you know what? How about both of them? Why not do both of them? You know, with the proper nutrition and training, you can see the best results with, with not only just body weight training, not only weightlifting, but also both of them. Now, I personally incorporate both of them. I take my weightlifting and I move it into my body weight training. And what I mean by that is I'm always working to strengthen all of my body weight movements through my weight training. And that's how I develop my programs. Um, but I also do only body weight training a lot of the time because I really love the tricks. I love how it pushes me to a different limit. I'm not, I'm not really used to all the exercises. I'm always learning new things. I'm always challenging myself. And I feel like weightlifting, uh, other than the amount of weight that you're putting on the bar, it doesn't challenge you in the way that body weight training does in the aspect of defying gravity and doing cool tricks and things like that. So it's up to you. Um, if you only want to do bodyweight training, that's fine. If you only want to do weightlifting, that is fine. But the best way to go is incorporating both. Um, I do have a bodyweight training program. I do have a weightlifting program and I am coming out with both. So this is great, you know, for all of you. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you make a decision today. I'm kind of tired of seeing, you know, all the bodyweight guys over here and all the weightlifting guys over here saying, oh, I don't want to do this because that's weightlifting or I don't want to do that because it's bodyweight training. You know, we're all one community. We're all into fitness. We're all trying to help people around the world. And that's what we really need to focus on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Brennan. Stay tuned for more hashtag calisthenics down below. Give me a comment with any type of videos you want. That will really help me out. I'll be producing a lot in the near future. And you know what? I'll see you guys soon.